If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over, use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got a ton to talk about. We got Team of the Week promo, Team of the Year player, free Derwin James, free players, Team of the Week players, Affinity st Team Standouts, Affinities, uh, Team of the Week tokens, Team of the Week collectibles. Guys, unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is what Madden does. They don't, they, they keep us in the dark for two weeks and they come out with some bangers. But, we're gonna get into this, guys. Super excited. Want to get through the intro as quickly as possible, guys. First off, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification, boys. Let's get the momentum going again. Thank you for all the support, guys. Can we get 150 likes? Just all I ask. All the loyal 150 likes for this morning banger. Hit the subscribe button. Turn that notification, boys. And if you need coins for any of the stuff that's coming out, and you probably will, coins are crazy discounted right now on my sponsor. Pretty much cut in half. Go down to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle. Get an additional 15% off. Go take advantage and build the God Squad, guys. But that's it. Let's get into all the info. So first things first, to start off with some of the stuff. So they did add a pretty cool concept. So it's power, it's pretty much like power-up expansion, but for players that had a good team to perform. And so, for example, Russell Wilson didn't get the hero card or the LTD or anything. But Russell Wilson got a plus one to his power-up overall. So pretty much it's like a power expansion. So like, this is great, guys. So for example, Russell Wilson had a great week, didn't end up getting the card. So they give him a power-up card that gets a higher overall. So this is cool. So throughout the year, you know, like when Odell Beckham or Saquon or any of these guys have great games, you're like, oh man, where was my favorite guy? You know, he did great. More than likely, they're going to give him a power-up expansion. And you'll know who gets them based off the collectibles in the game. I'll go over that as we go through. Now, here we go. Let's start with the Derwin James versus the World Welcome Pack. So this is the crown token. You're going to need five tokens for your free 90 overall players. And if you save all the 90 overall players at the end of the year, you do, or well, not the end of the year, till February, you get a free 97 overall Derwin James. So the way you do this is simple. Tune in two hours each night starting at 8 p.m. to earn a crown token. Now, guys, you don't have to actually watch. 8 p.m., you're going to see Derwin James, uh, those guys playing Madden Live, you know, playing the stuff. So all you got to do is pretty much turn it on Twitch on a separate browser on your phone and let it run for two hours. And every day, you'll pretty much wake up in the morning with a welcome crown pack. So you only need five crowns for 190 overall players. So your options are, I'll go over in a second, but you got three options. You need to collect all three. And when you put them into a set, you get Derwin James 97 overall. Now, the 90 players are amazing for now, not to mention the 97 later. So here you go, Derwin James, Derwin James Master turned all three MCS superstars for an auctionable tradable 97 overall Derwin James. So you can make coins off this. And then these are the three 90s: Keenan Allen, Jalen Ramsey, Nick Chubb. Now I don't care if Keenan Allen, but Jalen Ramsey is going to be a goon, and so is Nick Chubb, guys. This is one of the coolest things they've done in a while, specifically because you can get the 90 overall players like now, at least one of them. And the fact that you can do that, and actually they're going to be one of the best cards in the game. They never do stuff like that, guys. This is super awesome. I really do appreciate this on Madden's part. Making up for the lack of content. So moving on from that, to here it is right here. So uh, Twitch.tv, EA Madden NFL is a channel every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. to earn a Twitch pack. Uh, whenever you know, so every Tuesday, come in. It'll take you pretty much like four to five. It'll take you five weeks. Four to five weeks if you don't get the free, unless they give you the free welcome one. But that should be pretty easy. So you earn five, get a 90 overall Nat Ramsey King Now and Chubb. Uh, program releases in Mutt later today, so you'll be seeing that around 5 7 p.m. Log in, you get one free crown token. Okay, so you only need to do four. So four weeks, and you'll be able to get. The players and all these players will be able to be powered up which is crazy as well so they will be worthwhile in the long term so here's the first hero aaron foss you guys saw the stats not gonna spend too much time 88 speed 89 excel 88 agility 86 carrying 90 change of direction 82 truck 85 break tackle solid running back very comparable it's like a work done um will he be my running back he's probably not better than Bo, but definitely cool to see aaron foster back in the game brian young 70 speed 84 excel 89 strength 88 tackle 88 player rec 86 block shot 89 power move again nothing too great Devonta Adams is actually one of the heroes for the current week. So 86 speed, like I told you guys he would get, 89 jumping, 88 catching, 87 catching traffic, 84 spec, 90 short route running, 88 medium route running, and 83 deep route running. Not the best card just because of the speed. Of course, powered up 11, 87, just like I figured. He's going to be like a, a faster Michael Thomas. Then we got TJ Watt, who's the LTD for the week. And now the way they're doing Team of the Year this, week, uh, this year, guys, the LTD is not going to be based on current day. It's going to be based on players that had historic week performances that week. So... TJ Watt had an historic week one. Doesn't matter when in his career, but he had one. 82 speed, 86 excel, 74 strength, 85 tackle, 90 play rec, 82 block shed, 92 power move, and 93 finesse move, guys. He's going to be a crazy good linebacker because power up and chemed up, you can get like a 96 finesse move and get edge threat. He's going to be unreal. He's going to be crazy expensive, of course, because he is TJ Watt LTD. But super cool they're doing team of the week this year, guys. Now, the reason I like it is because we used to get some weird ones like Brandon Scarlett and stuff. I believe the way they're doing it now, 
we'll make sure we get a banger every week because they get to pick who we get from years and there's been so many week ones in life so you know there'll be a lot of good players so here we go here's the power stuff i was talking about russell wilson i went over that before um he's pretty much gonna be a power to player and then here are the other ones like ryan kerrigan got a plus one overall for having a great week josh jacobs so josh jacobs is only an 82 speed though nothing too great there but it is cool that they're doing this guys because now we know we will be getting upgrades throughout the year for multiple players then we got adam thielen 84 speed again these are the lower ones russell wilson was one of the higher ones chris jones which is a really good one guys he's a great great defensive tackle so he gets 89 power moves so chemmed up he will get to the 90 power move threshold which makes him really really good so that's cool so we got a high one a high one some low ones and then moving on next we got stefan gilmore another high one which is super super great 86 speed 88 excel 88 change of direction so stefan gilmore is going to be really cool so we got three high ones so that means weekly guys we're going to get like four to five team of the week players plus the upgradable power pass team of the week players team of the week has instantly become a banger weekly content uh, video and promo just in general uh and these are so these are the other card guys so these are going to be like collectibles is what Kralo pretty much said so when you get these cards you could sell them but he did say if you save them they will be used for some team affinity stuff now the thing with these cards they're pretty much going to be indicators of who the power up expansion players are so like you're going to see a josh jacobs 78 which means you can power up your other josh jacobs kind of cool that works and i said these are going to be borderline collectibles which i'll show you guys in a second we got adam Thielen 82 now see these don't correlate with the actual overalls of the cards that got powered up uh they're pretty much collectibles for the most part they're, i think they can they also have stats but they're based they're more like collectible style and they come in here guys so this is one of the things i want to talk about here so team standouts is the thing that he said you want to save it for improve your team with these players who have uh have been making a name for themselves this season so pretty much players that have been doing good throughout the year you know standing out I don't know how to entirely explain it, but he said there's going to be a correlation for now. Like, that's all he said. There's going to be a correlation between those Team of the Year, little Team of the Week collectibles and the actual sets. So, you could save them, but if they're going for a good value, maybe take your coins. It really just depends. Usually, the coins and the value will correlate. So, here we go. Team of the Week. This is the uh, objectives. Play the Game of the Week to earn Team of the Year tokens. Now, you want to collect these tokens, guys, because, of course, if you collect all 14, as it says here, out of 17 for the year, you get a free Team of the Year player. So, there we go. Once again, confirm, guys. We'll be getting a free Team of the Year player, which is awesome. Team of the Week solos, again, you play this, you earn some Team of the Week players' nats put into the set like per usual, and you have to play them for your token. So, again, want to be getting that done. Then we got the actual milestones, which is cool. So, you can get what appears to be three Team of the Week base players free, which you can put into the set, and there may even be more than that. Uh, maybe not. Okay, it didn't show us. And then you get a Hot Streak Token Fantasy Pack, guys. So, the Hot Streak Token Fantasy Pack is going to be like back in the day, the coin-up cards. You guys remember coin-up cards were the cards that pretty much you pick something to happen like... Uh, Aaron Rodgers 300 yards or Nick Chubb 100 rushing yards you pick one and whoever does if one of them hits their goals they get coins for it so remember that because that's going to be what they're going to be doing here as you're going to see so here's the hot streak fantasy pack so you're going to get this pack you're going to open it and then when you open it you're going to get an option of two players so Russell Wilson throws for 322 yards if he misses it you get 500 coins if he hits it, you get 1.5k so you're guaranteed 500 coins if he hits it you get 1.5 now hopefully they do multiple of these per week if they just do one that's not a lot of coins but they do find a way to implement that more with bigger coin rewards just saying that could be super super fun next we got the team of the week set right here uh we'll go into this right now so here we go so 78 to 86 overall team of the week so you exchange 75 to 80 overall players to earn one random team of the week player so exchange golds for uh gold slash elite team of the week players not a bad deal right there player of the week Devonte adams offensive hero defensive hero and then we got let's see let's see this is the gold set i was talking about then we got this right here again same thing and then we got let's see okay so these are the sets so you're gonna exchange the collectible style players like two chris jones two stefan gilmore three chris jones four uh five ryan kerrigan's jesus it's a lot and now create the bryant young and then i believe the Devonte adams set's slightly different oh well this is this one the Devonte adams set you're gonna exchange the russell wilson the stefan gilmore the adam thielen adam thielen chris jones chris jones so they're gonna be all similar it's not like Devonte adams set's gonna be much uh more like you know more expensive than the other ones because of course he's an 89 as well so that's pretty cool and it tells you exactly what he did which is always cool and then here finally are the packs so a team of the week bundle is 5800 points so about 50 bucks with the access and yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up so remember we get a free 97 derwin james a free 95 to 97 overall team of the year player we get three free 90 base jalen ramsey's uh nick chubb or keenan allen we got team of the year we got team standouts team affinity team of the week okay. you did well today boys Guys, about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Hopefully, you guys can make some sense of this. I'll probably only do two videos today because this pretty much covers everything for the day. Team of the Week will be dropping sometime between two or five, they said. Uh, I probably won't be opening packs for that today, so I probably won't make a video on it because you already saw all the stuff. 
Guys, about it for the video. If you did enjoy, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Let's get the momentum going again. Can we get 150 likes for this banger morning content? And comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite aspect of all this? And if you guys need coins for anything but reserve, half off right now. Use code Poodle for an additional 50% off, guys. I'm out. Peace.